Hello everyone, welcome to Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque. Painting live on second, and we are on YouTube tonight, and we're a few minutes early. Um, so we can get this little setup figured out. And we have our mousse and ornaments from our November box. And I think Courtney's trying to share the YouTube link on Facebook. But we'll give everyone um, some time to catch up with us. Are we able to zoom in or something, Courtney, do you think? Or it seems like it's really far out. But you can finish what you're doing. Um, so we'll have show and tell at the end of the show tonight. We have a few things to show and tell. Um, a couple of our supply things have finally arrived. So we will have some of that stuff. And we have some bisques to go over. Um, so we're gonna. I'm going to try to zoom in, so we'll see what happens here. Um, so it doesn't um, sit tight. We're gonna see if we can adjust something else here. get a little closer with for you guys so hold on a little more that's perfect probably good job Courtney so hopefully that zoomed us in so now I have to see where it looks like we got six people heads showing and one thumbs up so it looks like I need to find our comments now. Is that the little comment thing? Or I can't do that on here, probably. Um, so we'll get my tablet up for that so I can follow along with you guys. Um, the picture actually looks pretty clear, so hopefully it looks clear for you guys. So it looks like Beth and Patty found us. So we'll wait a little longer to see if anybody else can find us. So again, we'll have some show and tell at the end. Um, our part of our supplies finally arrived yesterday and today, and we have another batch um, that should hopefully show up on Saturday. So um, we'll be honoring our what was going to be our Black Friday and Monday stuff through the fourth, um, through Sunday night before we start actually boxing on Monday because Sunday is a holiday, so we won't be boxing. It's not a holiday. It's a it's a weekend, sorry. Um, so it looks like we got a few of you guys, 10 of you. Um, so again, we have our moose box. I um, hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Um, let's see if we can, I can get a little closer here. So it's been a busy week trying to get the bisque all or the greenware, all your pieces made and bisked up. So we are working on the new box, which is called Vintage Christmas. So it looks like we got 12 of you guys. So we'll probably give them just a few more minutes. Um, hopefully the streaming issues that we had on Facebook, we won't have any more with going on YouTube. So we will have to wait and see how that works. Patty says the sound is clear, so that's good. So let's see. We're up to 14 of you, so that's good. So we'll give it a little bit. So again, we'll have some show and tell at the end. Um, we have a couple supply things to show you and then um, some bisque too that we didn't get to show you because we weren't here last week. Um, Courtney did put a link on some of the um, invoices, she figured out a way to add the link to Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque.com where you can um, find the extra bis that you can add to your boxes. So that's kind of nice that we can do that now. So it looks like we have a few more of you, and I, I probably need to look at where we were at. Um, so we had our moose, and he looks like he's up to the point of doing his eyes and his scarf. 
And then it looks like we were working on our ornaments. Um, so it looks like they probably have the, um, let's see, what's the color? Light, the ivory on them. So they probably need some more ivory so we can get them looking like our moose. Um, so I can probably start with that. Well, uh, more of you join in. So let me get some foil. And then we will get our ivory. So it looks like a few more of you guys are finding us. So um, Courtney's sharing the links, so hopefully that will help. Um, so I do have our bump bumpkin, our Dun Duncan bisque stain, which is ivory OS 432. Let's pull the tablet just a little closer over here. We, you want to shake your paint up. Um, like ours has been sitting since last week, so we're going to shake that up. Again, that's um, Duncan Bistain OS 432. So hopefully you can see that, and I'll show it. Um, good thing about YouTube is we should have the closed caption um, again. Huh? Courtney says she don't see it right now, so we'll probably have to work on that a little bit to see if there's something we have to do. Um, it is Ivory OS 432. And then I'm going to use this little brush, which is our Royal and Lane Nickel size 8, um, just a natural hair brush. And then I have my color on some foil. You can use uh, tile or whatever it is you use. I like the foil because I can just roll it up and throw it out. And I'm going to grab just a little bit of my ivory and brush it out on my paper to where I can barely see any of it coming out. And then I come to my piece and I want to brush back and forth. And I want my color to go on really light uh, a little bit at a time. And then I just keep grabbing that little bit of paint. You don't want to grab a ton of paint because then you're just brushing it out on your paper towel. So you just want to get a little bit and then brush back and forth. So I'm going to start in one area and work my way all the way around. That way where I um, dry brushed will dry and when I come back around it'll take more color. Again, I don't want to do my finished color. I don't want to build up a whole lot of color at one time. I want to add many layers, light layers of color instead. Um, so we're just going to work our way right around this little cutie pie here. And then we're going to get the bottom as well. So let's see. It looked like we got some more of you guys finding us. So that's great. So hopefully it, um, this works well for everyone. Um, how is the sound? Is the sound better? Or is the picture is it worse? I know it's kind of early to tell already, but do you guys notice any difference at all already or not? Um, so again, I'm just working my way around. Any any time there's textures, I'm going to cross, or there's crevices, I'm going to cross them instead of with them, so that I don't fill in those crevices with my dry brush color. So, um, for example, with his smile, I wouldn't go with it. Um, that would fill that in, and we'd lose our brown shading. So I'm going up and down across it, or you can go at it crisscross. Um, you just don't want to go with it. Um, so again, we're going to our way around, build up our ivory on here. Um, so Courtney did send out invoices today. Yes. Yesterday, I'm sorry. So if you haven't gotten one and you think you should be getting one, um, check your spam folder first. Or a promotional tab, or a promotional tab she says. And then um, if you still don't see it, you can always send us a message. Hmm? Right she said, or if something's not right on it, you could also send a message. Um, you do, do have until Sunday night to add any items to your, um, you can go in and purchase items and then just pick, as long as you're getting a box, you can pick um, store pickup and then you'll get free shipping on all your extra items because we'll cover that with the box. Um, and then we're working on bisque and greenware wrapping and packaging and all that good stuff. And then um, the girls will start shipping on Monday. 
So hopefully our last supply box that we're waiting for that's supposed to come Saturday comes. Um, one of the other boxes did come today. Courtney, I forgot to tell you that. Um, but it is at the classroom. They're not in their usual box. I think, I don't know what the deal is with the boxes, but... Yeah, I couldn't get boxes um, They probably all could have fit in two of their regular boxes instead of the three, but that's okay. We got what we ordered, except for um, we di did not get glitter, or glitter no, no firing, glittering snow. It was the only thing I think that didn't come in, um, but Cordy does have to check the slip and check it off just to make sure everything's in there. So, so you can see I just keep working my way around in our piece, and... When I compare it to our little ones, we've already gained a lot of color on here. So, um, so Jean Jen says it seems fuzzy and fragmented slightly. The volume is good. Um, let's see. Maybe am I moving too fast? I don't know. Um, so that was a little heavy on my paint. So you usually don't want to go that heavy with the paint. Um, I'm holding the ornament pretty much steady, really. It's just my hand that's um, kind of brushing back and forth here. And I can slow it down, but I see what you mean by the fuzziness. I don't know. It's kind of the motion of the, the brush that's doing that. So it's um, going to be a learning thing. So that's why we're... Starting it now instead of in January just to kind of get it figured out. So hopefully we get it figured out and it works. If it don't, we'll have to go back to Facebook and do what we can. That's all we can do. Huh? On now or on Facebook? Yeah, Cordy said her screen always froze on Facebook. So, um, and I know other people had that issue too. So that's why we're trying YouTube. Um, so it'll be a little bit of a learning curve for us, so um, we'll see. We'll hopefully get it figured out. Um, the other thing is I may get a try to get a, a better phone. I haven't been had time to go to the um, cell phone people yet because they're trying to get your bisque ready f for shipping. So um, hopefully we um, get it figured out. But we're going to keep building up our um, ivory on here. And probably when I come back around, I'll actually sit this one down, let it dry, because then it kind of takes the color better. And then we will um, go to the two little little ones and come back to that them. Jason said your delay is like it was on Facebook. You're like two words off. Oh, um, so I guess our delay isn't as much as it was when we were on Facebook. So like I said, it's, it's going to be a learning experience for us. So. Um, please bear with us, and we'll we'll try to get it all figured out. And um, there may be settings we need to change or something. I don't know. We'll but we'll get it figured out. And um, this should be a better option. Um, but we'll we'll just keep at it and see what we can do. If it's a failure, we'll um, adjust and make do and change change it or go back or whatever. All right, so I made it around um, this guy again, so I'm actually going to set him down now and go to one of my little guys. And I can use my same um, brush, and I'm just going to um, brush back and forth again. I do like to start on the back. That way, if I have a um, too much paint in my brush or something, I have a big glob, at least it's on the back and not on the front. Um, so we'll start on the back and just work our way around with these guys as well. So, the sound is really good, but it is slightly blurry. So it looks like everybody's saying the sound is good, but it's slightly blurry. I'm, I'm, it seems like the blurriness is where my um, hand is moving, not so much the rest of the picture. So we'll have to see. So we'll, we'll work it out and get it figured out. There's um, bumps and potholes to go through, so we'll see. But I'm just grabbing my ivory, brushing back and forth, um, just slowly making my way around. Again, I'm already around to the back again and getting the bottom. And we need some more paint here. 
which again is the ivory. And we'll grab a little bit, brush it out on the newspaper. Not the newspaper, the paper towel. And we'll just get a nice even layer all the way around. So I think it's probably having trouble focusing on the the moving paintbrush is what it seems like when I look at it. I'm not sure because it's kind of hard to look at it and paint at the same time. So we'll have to we'll review it when we're um, when we finish. Maybe look at it tomorrow when Courtney's at the classroom or something and see what we can do to improve things. Um, right, right. Courtney said it might just be the phone, so um, we'll have to see. Um, so now I have a nice layer of our ivory on this guy, so I'll probably come back around again, um, come to the back, and then we'll set him down and go to our other little one. Again, I'm going across any of those little crevices or textures or indents on my face instead of going with them, so I don't want to fill them in. And then we'll come right around the back here. So we're around that one, so we'll set that one down, and then we'll grab a little paint again. So let's see. So Jen thinks it's because we're doing it live, but the other one will be um, better. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. We're not sure, you guys. It's um, it's new to us, too, so we're, we're just trying. Hopefully, we're hoping that it's a better product in, in the long run, so... Um, easier to access, because a lot of people aren't on Facebook anymore. Or at all, I mean, even to begin with. So, um, and we we're just having lots of troubles with the screen freezing on Facebook. And um, sometimes when people are going live, they're not able to go live. And we just thought we'd try to switch before we had those problems. And we'll see how it goes. So, I hope everyone had a good Thanksgiving. Um, ours was pretty busy. We had turkey and potatoes and the usual stuff, pumpkin pie. Courtney tried baking a turkey, but I guess it didn't work so well. So. In the garbage. Courtney says it's in the garbage. Okay. Almost poisoned us. She says she almost poisoned them. So. Next year will be better. There's the always us. always a learning curve with cooking a turkey. So. She did use, I think, one of those bags you put it in, and she did like that. Um, those that works those work pretty good those cooking bags did you make a pie no, oh no you said you bought a pie she bought a Marie Colander's pie I wanted to peek on one but they were all sold out at the store so now we got this guy looking about the same shade as the other one so we're gonna um, set him down and go back to our larger one so let's see we have any messages going on here so again, I'm just going to start in the back, brush back and forth. Um, you can see that dry brushing is a slow process. It's not a fast process. You don't want to put a lot of paint on at one time. You want uh, lots of light layers. And so I do like to go through the whole process so you can see that it, how long it does take and how slow the process is because um, otherwise you might think you'd be done in no time and um, it's just a good idea to see see the whole whole process of it. I think so. We'll just brush out that paint on our paper, and then just keep brushing back and forth here. You can also do what's kind of a C stroke, which is C. You'd be writing the letter C. So um, that kind of helps blend that paint down when you're on more of a um, smooth surface. So I do like to do that on the smooth surface. Um, so when you have a big um, paint mark like that, your brush was too wet, so I brushed it out again. And now I'm just going to brush, kind of brush that out, and we'll have to even that out as we build up our layer of our ivory. So we will get some more ivory. Um, I do believe I didn't get to talk to Courtney yet, but one of the things that we will not have um, for our Black Friday that we hope we're hoping for is the 
um, drying racks, correct? No. So um, we do have to apologize for not having those. We were hoping to have them, but we don't. Um, when when we get once we get them, Cordy will post or will make a post that we have them. Um, but at this time, we we don't have any. There's just we're we're just not able to get them right now. So. So I think that was the only thing other than and the glittering, glittering no fire snow is the other thing we weren't able to get. So I think everything else she wanted, she, right? Yeah, kind of, know. kind of. It's a, a bear. Um, like anyone else, um, we, we have those shipping and supply yeah. chain um, problems too. So we just, just make the best of it and get what we can. Um, fortunately, I think she was able to get the accent green that everyone's kind of waiting on and she has quite a bit of that ordered so um, we were able to get the two ounce bottles of paint um, I know that Mako had announced they weren't bottling those temporarily that was on um, there are some that aren't available but overall we actually did pretty good with paint I guess so um, so I'm, I don't know when they'll be switching back. So it, it could get worse before it gets better, too. I really can't tell you that at this point. So we're just dry brushing our ivory here back and forth. I'm making sure we go down to the bottom. When you get a big streak like that, it's the brush is too wet, so I brushed it out again. Um, you can do the back and forth, or you can do that C stroke. Um, the C stroke's kind of nice on the flat surfaces. It kind of blends those colors down in better. So we'll blend away here. So I didn't, um, I didn't actually know you could do a live with having the comments at the same time. So. I'm um, glad to see the comments on here, although we don't have a lot of, I don't see a lot of our usual people commenting. So are you guys out there watching or not? Maybe you had trouble finding us? I don't know. Or maybe everyone's just busy because it's becoming Christmas. Facebook doesn't like this, so that post has an external link and they don't like to show people oh, so, those posts. Okay. So they may have to end up finding us later. Yeah, they kind of so So hopefully as we go along everyone finds us again and we get get everyone talking and back on back on track. So let's see I'm we'll be getting the January box molds to this from the storage unit probably tomorrow and switching out the December ones. Trying to hold the um, ornament on the table to see if that helps with the blurriness, but I think it's more of my hand moving than anything. Um, you can see with that C stroke, which is just like the letter C with the brush, um, it kind of blends that color down in there a lot better than just brushing back and forth. Um, so a lot of people wonder at what point do you have enough so I can still see a lot of the brown through my ivory um, So that's where I usually have to tell them a little bit a little bit more um, So that's kind of what we need is a little bit more here yet because we don't want it blotchy So I have a lot of ivory here, but not much here um, It's spotty here, so we don't want it spotty. We want nice even um, coverage with our ivory and then we're leaving our brown up by the ornament cap and then around the face features um, so I was thinking too if you could find like the felt little snowman hats these would make actually really cute little snowmen um, so let's see so we got Beth she's uh, Elizabeth from Georgia okay so that's good Okay, and we got Jean Whip and we got Jill Lysing. Oh, Jill's there, and we're going to see you on Saturday, so that's good. We got you down. 
Um, so I guess you guys are fine enough. It's a change, so it'll probably take a little bit, but um, hopefully it makes for a better um, video in the end. So it looks like I need to move up into the screen here a little bit further. So again, I'm just kind of doing, um, whether it's the backward C or a C stroke, like you're writing the letter C, I just like how that kind of blends that paint down onto those um, smooth surfaces. Um, where the back and forth brushing works really well with the texture, going across textures. But when you have a real smooth surface, I kind of like to do that letter C. And you can go either way. You can see I switch. It kind of just depends the angle of the brush. So does everyone have their um, Christmas decorations all up? I see there's a lot up as I drove down here tonight. Um, also had deer in the road, so right in the town of Navarino at the bridge, so basically right in the middle of town. Just taking their sweet little time. There was about six of them. So we'll just keep working our way around here and get a nice even coverage. Again, I can see I still have brown, brown areas, so I want to build up my ivory some more yet. Um, we're getting close, but we got a little ways to go. So you can see as I come around now to the face, I have more brown over here, so I want to build up my ivory some more. Um, so we'll get it just a little bit more. So we have a few people that sent messages that they have to sign into YouTube in order to leave a comment. Oh, so Cordy said we have people comment or send us messages it, that yeah. um, YouTube, in order to be able to comment, they actually have to sign in. Um, so I think just to watch, you don't have to sign in, but it sounds like in order to comment, you're going to have to sign in. So if you don't have an account, you'll probably have to create an account um, to be able to comment. Um, so like we said, it's it's a learning curve for us too, you guys. So um, the good thing is, is that the video will be um, available and you guys can go back and watch it later. So um, that's... The good thing. So hopefully everyone slowly but surely finds finds us. Um, okay. Jean Whip is J Jen Hebert. Yeah, okay, true. so I get it now. So okay, so you guys are fine. And I was thinking it was a whole new name that I hadn't seen before. So, all right. Well, that's good. And um, Jill, I haven't started decorating either, and I don't know if I even will have time. Although the classroom is decorated, our elves decorated at us up um, last Friday, so that looks really cool and um, festive when you come out so that'll be nice um, you can see we're just slowly blending in our ivory here on our face and he's getting more and more even in color so he's looking pretty good um, we're gonna keep going around um, we had we had snow here yesterday about three inches um, Cordy said I had more than she did um, it's gone by my house. It's, it's gone by us today too, because it, it was kind of like I think it was supposed to get up to forty-two today, so it, it's all melted. So um, I can do without it. So, it was nice today. It won't break my heart. So Connie probably won't like that, but <laughs> I don't like winter, Connie. So in case you're watching, um, so I kind of forgot about our bottom down here. So we're gonna come back and do. Get that caught up to speed with the rest of our ornament. Um, and again, I'm just doing that C stroke just because it's really s flat and smooth. And that, for me, that works really well. If that doesn't work for you, don't do that. You know, just do whatever works for you. Um, there's my way is not the only way. And there's always more than one way to do everything. So don't feel like the way I do something is the only way and that you have to do it that way. Um, do what works for you. Um, that's the best way, whatever, you know, whatever's working for you, unless it's um, something that's really, like you wouldn't want to put acrylic stuff on a, something and then fire it because it's going to fire it off. Um, you'd need a fired um, paint, but, you know, if you need, you want a smaller brush, use a smaller brush. If you, you know, you want to change the colors, you can change the colors. There's nothing... Nothing wrong with any of that. It's all whatever makes you happy and makes your piece turn out the way you want it. Um, like I said, there's always more than one way of doing things. You could have 
base coated these and then um, antiqued them. You could paint paint them out completely and then just not color antique them or color wash them. You could do you, know, you could do whatever you want. This was just the way the samples were made. And so that's how I do the painting then on the lives is to match the um, what the samples were. But you're always welcome to paint whatever whatever colors and whatever techniques you guys want yourselves. Um, our bisque is fired to cone 04, so you can, if you have access to a glaze, you could put glazes on it. Um, these would probably be cute with glazes and then like a mother pearl overglaze on them too. So there's they've been fired properly so that you're able to do that kind of stuff. So, um, so now he's looking pretty good. We got just a few little blotchy areas here. We're going to try to even out a little bit because I don't want want it too spotty or blotchy or patchy looking. We want it nice and even. Um, and he's just about to that point. So I do have the brown down in our crevices around our eyes and our nose and our mouth and then up here where the ornament cap is and that's that's your shading um, that we are going to have. So that looks really good. So we'll set that one aside and now we can go to our little guys again. Um, so what do we got going on? Party says just no on Christmas Day is enough and Jean Gail agrees. So, you yeah. know. Um, oh, excuse me. Oh, I gotta sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> oh. Um, so now I'm back to my um, one of my little little guys here, and I just again I start in the back. Um, so Courtney says you're down in Illinois, Gales, and she thinks you probably get more snow than we get. Um, oh, by Chicago, yep, Chicago, I think kind of gets dumped on with, with snow. Thank you. Um, so we're just going to build our color up on these little guys. I'll try to hold them down here on the table so it doesn't seem so blurry too. So hopefully that helps. Um, again, I'm doing that be a little bit smaller just because it's a smaller piece. And getting all our areas. So has anyone started baking for Christmas? Does everyone bake for Christmas or not really? Cookies and candies or not so much? Um, I used to take like two days and bake candy and cookies and I haven't really done that for a couple of years because the person really don't need all that sugar. But, huh? Oh, it's really blurry now. Okay, well, what's going on? Let me stop and see if it focuses or something. Hmm. Let's see if it kind of catches up here or what it's doing. So I'll kind of slow down and... Hmm. Let's see if that helps. See, Jill said she bought Christmas cookies. Oh, from an Italian bakery in Milwaukee. Oh, that sounds like a... Yep, I'm, I'll make fudge. That's the one thing I um, do make. Cordy says, oh, it is crazy here now. It's like really faded out. Okay, well, let's hold on and see what happens. The connection... Well, hopefully that clears up. I'm take this one off. Okay. Um, Cordy's going to shut one of the tablets off and she'll watch the comments. So um, we'll see if that clears up. Um, so it's evening hours. There's probably a lot of people on the internet that could be part of it. We're not sure. But I, I'm going to just keep going with our little... Um, balls here and get them so they're both kind of equal to the big one. And I grab um, ivory and it out on my paper towel and then I come back to my piece 
And I just kind of do all my little C strokes. Kind of blending that color down in there just because it's so smooth it's a little bit harder to get it to um, versus something that has a lot of texture it would grab the brush the paint out of the brush for you um, so he's looking pretty good I think I need a little more on his little chin here and we'll set him aside you so you can see he's made a difference from the other. now we'll go to the other one and again I usually I try to start in the back just because if I have too much paint I won't have that globbed up on the the front and then have to try to fix it so we'll do our little C strokes here and just work our way all the way around. That way where we started dries until we come back around. Um, um, so Courtney said she checked the speed of the internet. She thinks it's fine, so it, it might be my phone, so I'll probably get a new phone by next week then. Um, I just haven't taken the time to do it. Mine's probably four four years old, five years old. Um, so we'll um, so like I said, it's it. This is a, a learning curve for us too. So hopefully by the first of the year we get it um, straightened out. It's going to take a little bit. Getting to know all the little ins and outs of the YouTube stuff, but we'll we'll figure it out and. You guys will figure out your end too and I need a little more ivory here because I got the bottom to do yet. So we'll get on the bottom. And I'm not brushing really, really hard. Some people, um, I notice at the classroom they brush really, really hard. You don't have to brush really, really hard with your brush. I'm just kind of using the, the tip of it. And then I'm just working my way right back around here. I think bus green 27 is Jackie home free, so I'm not sure. Oh. Yeah. I can't see anything now, oh. so. So hopefully everyone's, um, this works out for us. If it don't, like I said, we'll we'll figure it out after that. And Jill said she's a hard brusher. Jill's a hard brusher, yeah. Some people are. Um, I tend to be lighter. So we got him looking pretty good. And I just want to look at this one again. Make sure I got him. You can always um, like let one dry and then go back and touch it up again if you want to add any more to it. And we'll look at our big one now that it's sitting. So it's a little spotty right here. So we'll um, actually use up our ivory that's on our palette here and just get him a little more even through the side here. So I'm just doing like a C-stroke, kind of rubbing it down in there. Um, for anyone that joined late, we will have some show and tell here at the end. And then we did uh, miss last week with Thanksgiving, but I think we'll be okay um, as far as getting the box done in time because we'll do it again next week and then your um box should be shipped and ready by for the following week so that'll kind of be the plan um, i think we have a few boxes yet if you haven't gotten one you can go on brenda's brushstrokes and bis.com to purchase um bo a box and then you can add at the bottom of the um, december box is where you will find the extra bisque to add. It's um, it's just not out under the bisque tab. It's under it's at the bottom of the box because um, it's for you guys. It's for the subscribers or one-time purchasers to get bisque. Um, we really don't ship to non-subscribers or non-box people. I just can't keep up with all of it, so we're just kind of. Um, Focusing on satisfying and um, getting you guys what you're looking for. So um, I'll have to go to the storage unit and decide what I'm going to have for extra bisque for next month. Um, there probably won't be as much as this. Um, 
Um, I know we'll have a couple pieces that go with our um, piece that we're going to have for next month. So once we show you guys what that is, I, um, hopefully you'll like it. It's going to be Mako Molds. So it's a different company that we haven't been able to use in the past. But um, Courtney says it's bigger than she thought it was. Um, however, Michael Harbridge is an hour's drive from me, and he's a um, Mako distributor, so I was able to order through him. So if anyone um, is into, like, more of the fired stuff and the clay stuff, you can check out Learned Fired Arts, um, which is Michael Harbridge. is a great, great teacher with those types of things and um, just all kinds of different things. Last week he did um, banding wheel things, which is a great class. I um, didn't get to watch during the show, but, but I watched during the lives, but I watched it later. So um, he has every other week and offers all kinds of great, great techniques with clay puzzling and clay and um, the raku stuff and just just all kinds of great variety of stuff. So you guys can always check him out too. Um, he's more of the fired stuff with the um, for people that have access to a, a kiln. Our boxes were really designed for. Um, people that didn't have access to a kiln, so our techniques are non-fired techniques. Um, however, if you come to the classroom, we do we do glaze things, and um, we do have the extruder that we got from him, and the cones and things. So, um, a couple of clay puzzling molds. So we do do that at the the classroom, but we don't do it um, with our subscription box because they are based on the non-fired techniques for people that don't have access really to a shop or. Um, a kiln so that's kind of how the boxes started so we have our ivory looking pretty good so let's take a look at our instructions so your boxes do come with an instruction sheet um, so we were on number three we dry brushed ivory except on the caps and now we're going to dry brush some white although this ivory color is the color that Courtney really liked um, but we'll go to our white You liked it more ivory? So you could leave them at this ivory stage if you like the ivory stage. Um, that was what Courtney liked, but I did do the white. Um, so we're going to go to OS431 white. OS431 white. And we're going to give that a shake. And we'll get some white. And how are we doing on time? Quarter to eight. Okay. Um, because I'm kind of in the white excuse me, the white family yet, I'm just going to use my same dirty brush and dip into the white and just kind of work that in there a few times, um, brush it out. And now we'll go to our um, ornaments and give them some white. Again, I started on the back and I'm just going to brush back and forth until it seems like there's no white coming out. And then I grab a little more white, brush it out, and now I'll work my way around to the front. Um, you want to get the bottom as well. Um, so for any of the locals, we do have a time change. Um, I was doing Saturday from 9 to 3. Um, however, I haven't had um, customers at 9 other than um, two ladies pretty much that come um, not on a regular schedule but kind of every other week. Um, so we are. I am changing Saturdays to back to 10 to 3. However, if you are someone that you know you want to come on a Saturday at 9 o'clock and you're going to be there, um, you can just send a message and then I will um, be there at 9 instead of the 10. Um, so this Saturday, those two ladies did message me that they will be coming on, they would like to come on Saturday at 9. So I'll actually be at the classroom um, this Saturday at 9. Um, but otherwise, I have changed the hours back to 10 to 3 just for lack of um, customers at nine because I can um, pour a whole batch of that time um, so it just kind of uses better use of my time um, so this Saturday I will be there at nine though so and if you want to come at nine on a Saturday just send a message it's just a matter of me um, I just won't pour molds that morning it's not a big deal um, as long as someone's there I don't mind being there it's just um, I just feel like I'm kind of wasting an hour if no one's there and I'm just waiting on someone to come. So so if you do want to come at 9 on Saturday, just send a message. It's not a big deal at all. 
Um, so otherwise, we'll be 10 to 3 on Saturdays. And then Tuesdays are the same. They're the 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Um, so we're going to set our little guy down. So now you can see that he's um, quite a bit white, whiter now than the other one. Hopefully you can see that on the camera. Um, so we'll set him down now and go to the other one. Again, I'm going to start in the back. You can see that like, once you get to the next layers of colors, they, they start to go on easier or faster. Um, but I'm again, I'm brushing fairly light. I'm not brushing hard at all. I'm just kind of brushing back and forth because we have that nice um, layer of coverage of our ivory on there now. And again, I'm going across the smile and across the eyes and across the nose instead of with them. I'm coming down to the bottom and working our way around. Um, then um, the classroom will also be closed on Saturday, which is a Christmas day, and then the following Tuesday, and then the following Saturday, because that's New Year's, so I am going to be closed um, that Saturday, Tuesday, and Saturday again. But then we'll be back the following Tuesday right away, so um, not closing for January or anything like that. It's just that we're closed the two holidays and then the Tuesday in between there. So, so you can see we're getting a nice layer of our white on there. And just keep building it up, nice, lots of nice light layers. Um, you just want all those light, light layers. It gives you nice shading and gives your piece lots of dimension then when you do that. So we can set that one down so now you can, we can compare that to the big one. So you can see he's looking whiter than the big one now, hopefully. And now we'll grab some more white and brush back and forth and go to the big one. Again, I'm going to start in the back and then just brush back and forth. You can bra brush like the cross hatch. You can do whatever, whatever works for you. Um, just basically brushing back and forth, brushing fairly light because I want it to go on nice and light and even. So hopefully I kind of slow it down so you can see I'm just going back and forth, back and forth. Um, kind of change different angles so all the different areas get covered. Um, grab some paint, brush it out, and I'll come back to the ornament. And then just work our way right around. I kind of did forget that we had the a couple of new Mako molds, the gnomes and the reindeer. Um, so we, yeah, forgot about them. So we don't have those as extra bisques for this box. But I'm not sure if they would fit in this box even. But um, we can. I think they're pretty good size. They're not huge. I think they're smaller than that big Rudy. But I'm not. I mean, yeah, they're smaller than the big Rudy, but they're. Um, I think they're more like the that jingle elf size, um, but I haven't poured them yet, so I, I don't know. And um, just kind of unloaded the car, and they're in the storage unit, so I'll have to probably grab those too. Um, did get the jolly tree poured at the for the, the classroom. Um, yep, it seems to want to crack um, at the top, not the top, but the like the first row of branches that are curled up almost like the top is like curled over too far so it wants to, to crack in the mold um, so we'll have to see how that goes so we're just going to keep grabbing our white and working our way around i did um, pour the big mako truck which is a lot bigger than the um clay magic truck i was really surprised at that so i really like that it um, it's probably close to twice as big, yep. Um, it has a, the cab is extra, so I didn't actually catch that when I poured it, so I had a convertible. So then I had to go to the storage unit and dig through the molds and look for the, the um, cab part of it because that's an extra mold that you add, add the cab on. So. so that was a little learning experience last week. Huh? No, I didn't even notice it until I, um, so I usually I open, um, even when they're new molds, I open them up and then brush them out 
And it didn't even, um, I didn't even catch that the whole truck wasn't in the mold. So I poured it, and then when I took it apart, opened the mold up, it's like, oh, the cab's missing. We got ourselves a convertible here. Um, so then I had to, I went to the storage unit and grabbed the got that guy together but I've only gotten two poured and um, they've both actually cracked by the wheels too so um, it's been a little frustrating week with with that so, so we're just brushing back and forth here and then my digital kiln that I that it was dropping some black dust on the bottom of the kiln where the thermal couple, coupler is. And I remember when I got it, uh, Michael said that um, that's when it's getting close to re to be needing to replace. So I had had to call and order um, the thermal couplers, and those actually came today already, so that was good. Um, they're not expensive. It was only $18, so I got two of them, so now we have a backup. I was wondering. <laughs> thermal couplers, huh? Sounds pricey. Yeah, I was afraid it was gonna be like sixty or seventy dollars, but it was only um actually was eighteen dollars. So um, those came today, so I'll probably be changing, switching one of those out after this box goes out. Um, so we're just working our way around with our white. So um, building up that white, just brushing really, really light, so it's going on nice and soft. Um, so there's always something going on besides just. Um, painting the box or pouring for the box so um, kind of one thing leads to another and let's see what else has gone on over there at the garage um, the kilns are really warm it up in there so our insulation has definitely made a difference um, I usually have to crack the bottom of the garage door after about two hours of the kiln going because it's probably about 90 in there so hopefully once it gets down to the single digits it'll um, be able to maintain not 90 but at least keep the slip from freezing which will be the biggest thing otherwise it'll have to go in the house but I think it's we should be fine the way it seems um, so Courtney asks how the garage door insulator kit working it's, it's working but the garage door is still sweating um, so it drips water if I open it um, so I don't know if there's a solution to that, but um, it's definitely keeping the cold air out. So um, I probably need some new weather stripping around the outside, but I haven't had time to investigate that situation. Are you running the fire? Um, I I did not. I suppose I could do that, couldn't I? I didn't even think of that. Yeah. I could probably do that. I didn't think of running the dehumidifier. I didn't think it would sweat um, after putting insulation on, but it it still sweats. So, I mean, it's not an airtight situation. I mean, it's it's close, but it's not. It's it's workable, is what it is. So, it's not snowing in there. Is it's it? not snowing in there, so <laughs> we're good. So that's what. But I think. Um, there's a couple bad spots on the weather stripping outside, so I think I probably got to take that off and get some new. Yeah, Eric said you must have a huge electric bill with all the kilns. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid to look at the electric bill for this month, so I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> but I, I mean, it may not be any difference because now I'm running. Um, instead of running the little kiln three times, like the one one kiln load of the big. Excuse me. Of the big kiln is equal to three of what I can get in three small loads. So, <coughs> excuse me. I was firing that at home. So hopefully, it probably just equaled out. Is what I'm hoping. Um, but pretty much firing every day, though. So. Um, oh no! I didn't tell them that we had a cold. Almost had a had a cold classroom. Um, so last week on Wednesday, um, we have LP tank out there where they come and fill the tank with the truck. And it was supposed to be on autofill where they, they just come and fill it once a month and you don't have to worry about it going empty and then calling them right before it goes empty. Um, so the people I rented from, she just had a feeling she should check it. 
on and I had called twice to make sure it was on autofill and when she looked at it it was almost empty so she messaged me well then I called them and it was like three o'clock on Wednesday which is the the day before Thanksgiving of course and she wanted to know well how empty is it it's like well I don't know she said it's almost empty well then I ended up quitting doing what I was doing which was pouring and cleaning and that two percent left in it so then I had to call them back and then they sent the driver out and by the time the driver got out it was empty um, and then she did find where I had called and asked to be on autofill so um, at least we didn't have a late um, after hours delivery fee uh, but they did come and fill it and then she called and asked if I wanted to light it. I was like no I'm not messing with anything gas <laughs> Um, so then the, the driver actually goes in and will light the stuff for you and unfortunately there was a key out there and I could tell him where to go to light to get the key to light it, get in the house. But um, So that was another little problem last week. Um, so it's, yep, so as Courtney said, it's always interesting. It's never just smooth and easy and simple and... Um, Yep, I told them that the elves came and decorated the classroom on Friday. Um, they'd have needed their gloves if we would have not had fuel. But we got fuel again, and we're on the auto delivery, so hopefully they um, fill us up when we need filling. So that's the joys of being in Wisconsin. you got to have heat all winter. So, so we're just dry brushing back and forth. You can see our little... Little dudes looking pretty good here. I'll actually come back to our other ones and give them one more little coat of white because they. This is probably the color Courtney was looking for, a little soft yellow. Oh, you liked it before even. I like the cream. You like the cream. Um, so I'm gonna get them just a little bit whiter. So you can let them whatever whatever shade of the white or ivory that you like. Like there's no problem with that at all. Like paint the stuff the way you colors you want. Um, like I said, this is just the sample colors, and that's why we um, do it, so you can see what they start out like and what they finish as. Um, I've seen them done with red and burgundy and green. Um, so paint them, dry brush them, or paint them, do whatever you want with them to, to make you happy. Um, so we're going to just put one more little layer of white on here yet. Um, so I need a little bit more. And how are we doing on time? Eight o'clock. So we'll um, get these guys looking kind of white. Uh, and then we'll do our show and tell so you can see what we have. One of the things is brushes. So hoo hoo, we got brushes, brushes, brushes. Um, so including the dry brushes. So it's something you guys have been waiting for. So so we're just going to build up our white a little bit more on here. So you can see they're looking nice and even, not big spots of brown, um, although other than the brown around the top where the, our shading is around our cap here. So we'll just get them a little bit whiter, although Courtney liked them in that ivory color. So I kind of wanted them a little bit more white, I don't know. It's it's really personal preference, you guys, so like do... Do the colors that you like. They could be silver, they could be, you could paint them gold, the whole ball, whatever. Um, blues, red. If you have access to the kiln, you could glaze them. Put um, overglazed gold, fired on gold on, the, on your caps. If you, if you have access to the kiln, so, I mean, that would make them look really different too. So, like, this is just one way of doing them. There's... Um, probably tons of way to do them like I was thinking that um like if you had the little black top hat on here he'd look like a really cute snowman um, sitting on the on the counter or wherever you're gonna put them so let's get a little more white one of the ladies thought that he might even look really cute if he had a witch's hat on um, to me he looks too cute to be a witch but he'd be like a little cute cute nice witch not a mean crabby witch but I mean, that might be another thing you could do with them is turn them into, like, Halloween witches by putting, just by putting a Halloween witch witch's hat on him and maybe painting, um, dry brushing him in green, like Limeburst or something. 
Um, so even though they're Christmas balls, you can do other things with them. Um, maybe if I have Christmas, I can um, whip up a snowman one and a witch one. We'll have to see what, what we have time for. I'm not sure. Just get a couple other samples. Um, so even though something is like these are the balls, like they wouldn't have to be balls. They could be snowmen. So... Okay, so he's looking pretty good with his white as well. It's pretty even on there. All right, so our next one is to paint our caps with our gold. Um, so we have our Duncan UM951 solid gold. Duncan UM951 solid gold. And now you want to really shake that up really, really well. Um, this has probably been sitting for a while, so we're going to shake it really good. And we'll put a little pile of that on our um, foil there. And now we're not going to dry brush. We're actually going to um, paint them. Um, so from July through December, you guys got um, nylon painting brushes. So I'm going to use, this is a size 5 that I'm going to use. Um, I like to dip that in the water first and then pat it on my paper towel. That kind of conditions that brush to keep the um, paint out of the ferrule of your brush. And I see I got a long hair in this one, so I'm going to cut it off. Um, so I can see there's a long, one really long hair here, so we're just going to snip it off. And now I'm going to just dip into my paint. Um, I'm actually going to mix it up a little bit more here, the way it looks. Um, so the gold, the metallics can get thick and chunky on you, and they can get old. So you, um, if you have something that's really chunky, you can try to mix it up a little bit. Um, that's probably been sitting for a while, so we'll just, um, so I'm mixing it up. So I'm just going to take my nylon brush, and now I like to rest my painting hand on my um, piece and I'm just going to come right where the gold cap would end and kind of paint my gold on here. You could use silver if you wanted. Courtney kind of liked the gold so we went with the gold. Um, the met metallics tend to take more than one coat. Oh, I'm down in the corner. So let's see if we can get up further. Try to hold it up so you can see. So again, I'm resting my painting hand on my piece. Um, I normally would have that more in my lap um, instead of up in the middle of the air here. But for you guys to see it, I got got it in the air a little bit. And then I'm just coming around with my nylon brush right where my cap ends. And you can see, you can kind of see through your gold. So that's kind of your... Um, clue that you need more. It'll need another layer, so we'll paint this layer on and then let it dry and then do the other caps and then come back and give this one another coat. And then you um, want to make sure you brush it out so you don't have um, like rivers of or ridges of, of your paint. So you want to brush that out. And you want to get in your hole, the hanger hole. Okay, so now this one I can still see through it, but I'm just going to set him aside and let it dry while we do the other one. And we're just going to do the same thing. Again, I'm resting that painting hand, one of the fingers right on my piece. And I'm just going right where the cap and it meets the ornament. And then I want to brush out any um, ridges or little pieces or little clumps that might be in there where the paint's a little thicker. Um, the metallics do seem to, like they can thicken up on you. Or they get a little thicker from sitting. So we're just going to brush that around. So has anyone used the um, 
snow flurry tinsel glitter that Clay Magic used on on their last new release at all. How are you guys liking that stuff? Uh, I've seen a couple different ways that it's been put on. Some people use the brush-on sealer, and then some people are using the Elmer's glue. Um, I, I did a, one of the Hamlet gnomes. I should have brought him along with it and it it took two to like I had to do it twice to get it on thick enough um, so I think that's where the people that are using the um, Elmer's glue are probably having better I would like it thicker. I think it's thin. Um, better success yeah because it seems like it's got to be thick and it really stick it does really stick like it doesn't fall off that was the one thing I wasn't sure about but it really it sticks really well um, I'll probably try it with the Elmer's glue to see how that works um, so we'll set that one aside, and now we'll come to our big one. And again, I'm just going to um, rest my painting hand on my piece, and then just run that nylon painting brush right along the edge here, and then paint out any um, high areas so we have nice, smooth paint. Um, so when I say that, say paint it out, like when you put your paint on, like you wouldn't want, there's a, a big puddle there, so I'm going to paint that out. Like brush it out so it's nice and smooth. Oh, you use paint. I wonder how that would work. Yeah, I don't know. So I was gonna try the glitter or the um, glue to see how that worked because some people have it on really, really thick, and it looks really nice when it's really thick. And you can even, um, with the brush on sealer, like you can rub your fingers across it and then like it's really stuck to the, to your piece. Like it doesn't flake off like the little fine glitter tends to like seem to be glitter everywhere. Can we use white tacky glue and that worked out too? Oh, white tacky glue someone used too and that worked good. So it's probably just a matter of trying um, different things and seeing what works for you. St stuck really well with the paint. Oh, that's interesting. Because usually the paint dries so fast. Yeah. I did notice that um, where I put it on, it was on a red part of the hat because I um, didn't make it white. I think if you put it on a white area, that probably helps it look better too. So i got to remember to put this back in the screen here. I tend to want to pull it towards me. So I just want to brush out my gold here so it's nice and smooth because it, it tends to want to um, like have lots of lines in it and you kind of want to not have that so you want to brush it out so you don't want to get it on too thick um, it's better to do a couple layers I'm just working at brushing this out here. Um, so someone asked where you can get it from. You can get it from Hobby Lobby. You can. It's called Snow Flurry um, Tinsel Glitter, and Hobby Lobby carries it. Um, I don't know where it's at. It's probably by the regular glitter. I, I actually ordered ours online. I just went online and ordered a bunch for the classroom. Um, so I'm just getting in my little grooves here with the ornament. Getting underneath the little cap there. So now we're going to set that down and let that one dry. And then we'll come back and give um, each of these another layer just because I can see through it. So the metallics usually do take two layers. Um, so now I kind of I have my line along there, so I don't necessarily have to like rest my finger on there to um, come up to the line. But if you need to rest your finger on there, go ahead and rest it on it. And if you need to put it closer to you, do that. I'm, I just have it like in the mid air here, so you guys can see better. Um, but normally I, I paint. Um, up close to me on my, on my lap, kind of. Um, so you can see the second coat gives you a nice coverage. And again, I'm just brushing it out so I don't have no little globs anywhere. So I want it nice and smooth. And I want to make sure I get underneath there. 
And now we'll do the other one. Um, so I can I can kind of see the white through there. So we're just going to put that second coat on there and then brush it out good. Um, so your boxes with the January through June will um, they will not have paint brushes in them now. They will have um, supplies or products or things that we we use um, for ceramics. They've, in the past, it's been a palette knife. Um, like what else? Um, I think we've did brush on sealer maybe. Um, just different things that you can use use during um, painting or finishing things. Um, so it, it's going to be a variety of things. I haven't looked at exactly what they're all going to be yet for the year or for the first six months of the year. And then the last six months, it should be um, brushes again. Um, from July through December, we'll do brushes again. So we're going to work on that, get that list figured out. So we have a nice another layer of that on there. I'm just looking to make sure I don't have any chunks anywhere. And then we'll come to our last one, our big one, and give it one more coat because I can see through my gold as well on here. So the metallics almost always take two coats. I've, I don't think I've ever really done one coat. They just always seem to take two. And then you do want to brush them so they're nice and smooth. And they may take a little bit longer to dry than your acrylic paint as well. So you want to be careful you're not sticking your fingers um, in them or handling your caps right away. Let them dry good first. So we will brush up underneath our hanger here and then our little top of it. So now we have a nice smooth layer of our gold on there. So these guys are coming right along. So that looks good. All right, so I'm going to wash my brush out and then pat it dry on my paper towel and wash it again. And then you always want to um, kind of groom your your brush when once you wash it. And so I put it back into a point. So I always um, kind of rub them a few times and put that point back on and then lay it um, horizontal to let it dry. You don't want to stand it up vertical because then the water runs down in your ferrule and lets the glue loose. So I usually let mine lay overnight um, horizontally. Um, so let's see, where are we at with time, Courtney? Um, so I think we're at a really good stopping point with these guys. We should be able to do our eyes next week and our um, cheeks and then our um, plaid on our mousse. Oh, Mod Podge works good too with the tinsel glitter. I wondered about that. Um, so, so we should be able to finish these guys up next week on Thursday. There's not a whole lot left to do. It's the eyes. Um, so we can set them aside. And then Cardi's got some show and tell stuff for me to show you guys. So let's kind of get a few things out of the way. And get the paint out of the way so we don't have paint in everything. So let's see. Courtney's gathering up some stuff for me, so hold on, you guys. Okay. Um, so this is um, Bisque that is on Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bisque.com. And if you go to the December box and scroll down to the bottom, you will find um, one of the tabs is bisque, one is paint. Um, there's like five of them, supplies, I think. Um, so this is the kissing snowman with their cutout, or kissing couple with their cutouts. Um, we have those cut out or not cut out. Um, and then they do have the hole for the pinch light. Um, and these are how much? 
Um, which she thinks they're 24. I'm not sure. Um, but we have some of those. Um, so these guys are 24. So you can add those. So you can add to your invoices, your to your cart. Um, just go to Brenda's Brushstrokes and Bist.com. Go to the um, December Bist box and scroll to the bottom. Courtney added the link for you guys. You can just click right there. And then you can purchase it. And then when you're checking out, you'll do, if you already have a box ordered, um, this is for subscribers or one-time purchasers, um, pick store pickup and then that will not charge you shipping that's just our workaround to not charge you shipping um so you can or she has the promo code free 50 you can check out that way too but otherwise just use store pickup and that will take so you don't get shipping so that's the snow couple um for the promo code you have to have 50 dollars worth of stuff in your cart though just another workaround um, so this is Hamlet the gnome that um, he was actually painted candy for um, Halloween, but I made him with stars and little holes, and then I also cut out his bottom so it's big enough to put a tea light in. Um, so that's the Hamlet the gnome that's on there, and he's probably eight dollars. Yeah. Um, so you can see he has cute little stars, and then he is cut out big enough for the tea lights, and he's also not cut out wouldn't want him cut out you could get him not cut out um, then we have um, the two ornament gnomes um, one is a little bigger than the other um, so you can see I have the cutouts in those and then the little holes too but these are too small for ornament um, tea lights so that you cannot put tea lights in them um, and then the, the little guy the smallest one he just has one star but the other one has the three stars and the one star down here but those are the ornament gnomes, and that's the two sizes of those. He's four inches, and he's four and a quarter. Um, so one is four inches, and the other one is four and a quarter. And I can actually um, put them next to the ball so you can see the size. He's a little bit taller than the ball. And then the little guy is, is about the size of the ball. Um, so we do have those, the ornament gnomes. And then we also have the Tannenbaum gnome ornament, and he has the wire hook in them for hanging him, and then the little pin lights, but he's also too small for a um, tea light. Um, but that's the Tannenbaum gnome, but we also have the larger one. Did you have one of him, too? No, we don't. Um, we have the larger one of him, too. I think it's the gangbuster size one. Um, he doesn't have the ornament hook, but you can get them with holes or without of holes. Um, so this is the Tannenbaum gnome. And we can compare him to the um, Christmas ball, too. So you can see he's pretty comparable in size. I don't have it, but you did a, the large jack ornament. Oh, you don't have it? Mm -hmm. um, we also have the large um, jack ornament like this with the star cutouts um, like the gnomes have. Um, so that's on that's it's on the page. I just don't have the bis to show you, um, but it's on the page with the link that short Cordy just showed you. Um, so this is the small Tannenbaum gnome, and then there's a larger Tannenbaum gnome also. And then we also have the um, small mantle tree, which is oh, I think it was eight inches tall or seven inches tall and eight inches wide, and he's twenty two dollars for the top and ten dollars for the base. And then we have the plain vase. Uh, we have the um, scene vase. So it's just a nice size tree. It's not too big and it's not too small. And then we also have the holly vase. And then I can kind of hold the ornament up next to him so you can see he's pretty good size. He would actually look really cute with your ornaments by him. Um, so that is our mantle tree that we have. That's a new mold that we got. So. It's kind of hard to see in the mold in there, but you can see it's pretty good size. And so the bottom is 10 and the top is 22. So that is the mantle tree. And that's actually um, not what's in your next box, in the, in the December box, but in the December box we have the small mantle. Um, I think it's the ga actually gangbusters mantle tree. So this one is coming in your... 
um, December box. And this is your Santa and Mrs. Santa. So this is your December box. Oop. So we have Mr. and Mrs. Santa for your December box, which your invoices came yesterday. And then you also have the mantle tree, and you will get snow, glitter, um, a full package of the mini pin lights that you can use in your um, elf and your Rudolph, your reindeer, if you got those, or in other things. So you'll get the snow, the glitter, um, the pin lights, and also an LED um, tea light. So you'll have enough pin lights for all your, because these guys are holding trees as well, but they're too small to put a, the tea light in. It's just more for decoration. So that is your December box. As well as a nylon brush. I believe it's a six flat. A six flat? Yep. So you'll be getting, um, Cordy believes it's the six flat um, nylon brush. We weren't able to get the size three um, round. So um, um, we've been trying to get those round brushes since April and um, we just could not get them. So you'll be getting a size six flat nylon painting brush which is great because you can use that um, for base coating. So that's a great base coating brush. It's the same series, it's just we're going into the flat. Um, so it's the same as your brushes that you currently have. It's just that it's the flat brush instead of the nylon round. It's the nylon flat. Um, but you guys will actually find that really useful because it'll be great for um, base coating. But this is your December box. So you'll get your tea light, your pin light, your glitter, your snow. And then these three pieces, and then we also had um, the elf and the reindeer. That's kind of kind of part of that set that you could add as well. Um, they were six dollars each, and I know I um, they were sold out this morning, but I gave Courtney a, a few more that she could increase the numbers. So hopefully, we're able to meet what everyone wants. Um, but those are extras you guys can add to, as well as the bisque that we already just showed you. And then what everyone's been waiting for is dry brushes. So we have the full set of flat and round um, Royal and Lane Nickel. These are the Chung King. Yeah, they're the, the Chung King, um, which is a better bristle brush, uh, better than the blue ones that we've been using. Um, the, this is the this is the blue where these are the turquoise and she has she'll probably be putting the link for those so you'll get the full set how many of each 12 total, um, 12 total brushes I don't have all the round ones here because we're waiting for those to come in um, they're supposed to arrive Saturday but here are all the flat ones so there is a 10 an 8 a 5 a 3 one a one zero. and a zero. So that is the set of flat flat ones. And then the round ones, I only have three of them to show you, but we do have all six. Um, all six round ones are also coming. And on the website, I just have a picture of one. That I have. Um, and then Cardi has a sale price on there as well. So those, the through full, Sunday night. Um, through Sunday night. So you guys can go and add um, the sets of dry brushes to your cart. And do the store pickup. They're normally forty six eighty eight, but they're on sale for forty two. Um, for the twelve piece set, and we did order lots of them, so I hope you guys go and scoop them all up, because it would be great. Because then we can order more brushes. Um, so these are just want to go over it one more time. These are the new, um, our new dry brushes that we'll be carrying and they are the better they're better quality they're a step up from the blue ones they are the chung king um, boar bristle brushes so they should wear um, a lot better than the other ones so hopefully you guys are happy with that um, they feel they feel really nice and soft um, and they spring back really nice so hopefully you guys in, enjoy those so um, when they come, they are stiff. They have sizing in them for shipping, so you will want to wash them out with a little bit of, um, I wouldn't say dish soap, but like hair condition, uh, hair uh, shampoo, 
Um, you don't want to use dish soap because that will take the oil out of your bristles because it has a grease cutter in it. So use like a shampoo because um, it is a natural hairbrush and wash them out and then let them dry before you use them. But they, 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 you will notice that they are stiff and that's because there's a sizing in there to help protect them while they're um, being shipped. Um, so that's why they're stiff when they come. But this is the better level of Chung King um, hog bristle brushes. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, then she's got a couple other things here. First time they're available. Um, so, they're so these are the brushes that were in your boxes, and we now were able to get extras to offer them for sale. Um, but it's the nylon painting brushes that were in your box boxes from July through now. Although we don't have the three. Minus the th size three, because we just couldn't get that one. Um, but otherwise, we have the 10, the 8, the 6, the 5, and the 0. You buy, them um, you buy these guys individually. They're just um, nice nylon um, painting brushes. So she has those as well now. And then I believe she's got a few more things for us. I only have a handful of these guys. Um, what's this? Your liners. Um, 4, 5, 9. Oh, so this is our 4595 liner that I usually use for doing um, eyes. So she has some of those. That's, again, the 4595, the 509 um, liner. And then she has just a handful. We couldn't get many of these yet. The Royal Majestic Mini Liner, the 20 and then the um, 20 Monogram. So the difference is... Um, the liner is the bottom one, and it has a longer bristles, and then they're both 20 o. The monogram one has shorter bristles, so that, that is the difference with these two. They're both 20 o, but one has the liner is longer, and then the monogram is shorter. I prefer the liner one, but some people prefer the other. So we do have a, some of these. Um, we're still waiting on um, their shipment didn't come of it come in of these so that's the limited quantities on these guys um, but the dry brushes we have we should have more than enough of those um, so Jean asked 42 dollars for all 12 brushes yes they're 42 dollars for all all 12 um, dry brushes um, and then so we do have just a few of the liners so hopefully that will help you guys out too any other brushes huh um, hold on guys she's typing um, the 4595 is the one you guys got in the box last year. Um, didn't we give that to them for Christmas or anniversary or something? Um, so that's this one, the 4595. It's the one I usually use on the screen. Um, so we can put those aside. Oh, that's the not only game. Okay. And um, then there's a few paint packs. And then Cordy created some paint packs. Oh. Um, these are four for ten dollars. Looks like she's got pastel colors here, so you can um, like she has a pack created that you can add to your cart. Um, so we have a pastel pack. Um, they're four for ten. Um, we have a blue pack. Um, she calls them Brenda's Blues. So there's our blue pack because it's my favorite colors. Uh, then we have the gray pack. So it just makes it easier. Um, so you can see you have your, your dark, your medium, and your light when you get the colors like that. So she's got a gray gray pack. I couldn't get all the Christmas colors. So I... And she couldn't get all the Christmas colors, so we have a red, black, or a, a black, a white, a bright red, and a bright green. So she kind of has Christmas colors. And then, um, of course, you always need red and or black and white. Um, so those are the packs of colors that she made up. Those are four for ten. That was all part of our Black Friday, Cyber Monday stuff, but we had to wait for our um, paint to verify that we had had what we ordered. Um, so those are all four for ten dollars. So we got the blue pack, the pastel pack, the gray pack, and then the Christmas pack. Anything else? She thinks that's everything, you guys. Um, she said there's a few new tools on the website. She's got the um, palette knife on there, which is great for mixing your paint, putting snow on, because you don't always want to use your brush to mix paint that wrecks the bristles in it. Um, no, limited numbers. Um, we have the dual-ended spoolie, 
which you could use this for spattering as well. Um, but a lot of times the greenware cleaning people use this to clean out the holes in things, but you could also use it um, to clean out holes in your bisque if for some reason your bisque wouldn't be clean. Um, so that's what the, the hole, that's what this guy's good for, this two double-ended spoolie. And then it looks like she's got a new um, cleaning tool, the Duncan Large cleaning tool. Um, so that is on there too for you guys. So she says that's everything that's new. So I guess other than that, we will be back next week on YouTube again. Hopefully our um, picture is a little better. I'll go get a different phone and hopefully that clears up the um, blurriness that we had. Um, you guys can shop through Sunday night. Go ahead and add as much as you would like to your carts. Um, she'll be pack starting packing Monday, so if you can get your purchases in, she'll actually probably shut the website down um, Monday morning so that she can um, pack boxes and not have things added, and then it kind of makes a mess. So um, go ahead and shop till then, and... Otherwise, have a great late Black Friday and Cyber Monday um, sale because we got brushes and we got paint and lots of nice bisque. This, even though this is Hamlet, the East Halloween guy, like he's going to be really cute painted up. I did him with red and green stripes, kind of like an elf, which I should have. And then I put um, that snow flurry tinsel around the outside. I should have brought him along, but I didn't even think to. Maybe we can take a picture of him and post him, but he's really cute like that. Um, so I think that's it, you guys. So have a great week. And we will be with you on Thursday. And your boxes will be on their way next week. So have a great week, everyone. Thanks for joining us.